Hey, Adalo makers, I wanted to take a moment and expound upon the IAP Hub components and some of the prerequisites that are required for that. So the other video, the component overview that shows you how to actually put that into your Adalo app, that is really uh, just kind of the starting point, really, of getting IAP Hub integrated into your app. A lot of the work, I would actually say probably 75% of the work that you'll do is actually on the Google Play side of things and the Apple side of things um, in order to get IAP Hub working. So that said, there are a few prerequisites that I wanted to look at uh, that will help set you up in the appropriate order to get started uh, setting up IEP Hub. So the main thing that you'll want to do here is I'm just here in the help.adalo.com uh, here in the, the Adalo help docs and you'll want to go to publishing apps and I've found that it is absolutely most helpful to go ahead and have most of these steps done in this publishing sequence. You don't have to have all of them done. If you want to have all of them done, short of actually submitting it to Google Play and to the Apple App Store, you're more than welcome to do that. Um, it's really only going to help you uh, skip a bunch of steps when you get to the IEP uh, uh, integration part. Um, but the more of these steps that you complete uh, before you start integrating and creating products and subscriptions, the better, uh, because it's going to keep you from having to jump from you know, Firebase to Google Console to, you know, Google Play to all these different places. So uh, I really highly recommend, you know, kind of waiting till the end to create your products and stuff. Um, you can go ahead and, you know, by all means, integrate those components into your app, the IP Hub components and things. Um, it's just for the products and all that sort of things those sorts of things, it's really good to have these steps done first. So you'll want to go in here and make sure that when you're publishing to the Google Play Store that you've you know, created a Google developer account, that you've created a Firebase project, and, you know, that you've registered the, the Android app bundle ID, uh, that you've downloaded the private key, that you get the build file, upload the build file into Adalo, uh, get that build file from Adalo and upload that to Google. Um, and then this last one here is really kind of optional until you get ready to submit it to Google, but, you know, setting up your, your store listing, like your screenshots and your, your logo and all that sort of stuff. And then kind of the same thing for Apple as well. Uh, so these are all kind of steps that you'll want to do before you get to uh, trying to, to set up the IAP hub uh, products and things on the, the App Store side of things. So you want to make sure that you've created your Apple developer account, that you've set up the annual payment for that, that you've got your Apple bundle ID uh, for that app, that you've you know created your Adalo app specific password. Again, if you don't know what all of this is, don't worry about it. Um, you're not you know you may not know what any of this is yet, um, but I would highly recommend just going in here and and going through these steps first. You know you'll want to start your build in Adalo. Um, you can optionally add users to your app store optionally add users to test flight, those types of things. Um, and then these last two are not super necessary uh, to implement IAP Hub, but they are necessary to actually submit it to the App Store. So point being, uh, it, it's going to work best for you if you go in and complete some prerequisite steps first in this publishing apps section, um, because all of your app bundle IDs and all that stuff is already going to be created. Uh, it's going to be really easy to just go in there to your app create the products, attach those products uh, to uh, the, you know, the subscriptions or, or the products that you have set up in IAP Hub. And from there, it's much, much easier to, to get all that stuff squared away. All right. So those are the prerequisites that I recommend completing before you start uh, creating products. Again, it's fine if you want to set up the components in your app, uh, like we did in the overview. Uh, but I definitely recommend going through through the publishing flow uh, as far as you can first uh, before trying to create any subscriptions or products or anything like that.